Hi, Ni I'm Chef Tom. Today I'm going to show you how to make the very popular Asian scallion pancake. I have two cups of the purpose flour, or you can use cake flour, it's fine. Uh, two eggs. Just maybe half a teaspoon of the baking powder. And a pinch of salt. And I have the warm milk, about three quarter cup. Uh, you can use uh, plain water. I usually save a little just uh, toward the end. See, uh, sometimes you just three quarter cup plus or minus. And just uh, drizzle a little bit of olive oil, just like that. And we're gonna mix it up like this. We want to mix it up evenly until they all stick together. And then we're gonna knead the dough. And we're gonna let the dough rest for about, uh, I would say about 10-15 minutes before we make the pancake. Okay, like this, I show you. Okay, after like three minutes, you keep mixing the dough like this, it's gonna form like this. And we're gonna take it out and we're gonna put more flour on the counter. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, before you get it out from the dough, you need to spray some flour so they not stick on your counter. And now you just start gently kneading and add a little more at a time because the dough is still really soft. You want to knead maybe to four to five minutes until they really smooth, like soft, like this. You just keep kneading. Make sure they are nice and even. And then we're gonna let the dough and rest for probably 10-15 uh, minutes and we're ready to make it. Just like this, see? It's very easy, simple to make. There's many ways to making a scale and pancake. Every family has their own uh, recipe. <laughs> That's a good appetizer, good snack for Asian people. And uh, back in our country, that sometimes we uh, have like scale and pancake with the uh, scrambled egg. That's many ways. And they can make all kinds of dipping sauce ginger soy sauce dipping sauce, or sweet chili dipping sauce, or Thai cilantro, galanga. I think it's getting better, like this. See, start getting much smoother, and uh, we, need to let the, we need to let the dough uh, rest for a while. Let the flour rise a little bit. Some people make it really dry. They don't like too wet. And uh, Korean, Korean pancake, they make it much soft, a lot of water. Okay, just like that, you just keep kneading and then uh, rest for 10-15 minutes. Okay, after 3 minutes, you start getting, uh, the dough start getting smoother. And I can feel it's more balanced. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray more flour here. And I just let the dough sit here and get a nice clean towel. Don't have to be complicated. Just cover up like this. And let them rest for 10-15 minutes, okay? Oh, some people like to use uh, the serum wrap, which is okay too. Oh, I see you later. Okay, after 15 minutes, that's what they look like. And I'm just gonna split it in half using my cleaver or knife, just like this. And then you sprinkle a little more flour, just a little bit. And then you just knead a little bit, not long, not much. Just make it nice and even, like this, okay? And then, what you want to do is, I'm going to roll it with my uh, roller pin to form like a, like a nice uh, giant pizza. And then I'm going to show you how to make the scallion, put the scallion and the uh, sesame oil. Alright, now, you're just gonna go like this. And here's the roller pin. Put some flour right here so they not stick together. Just go like this. See, until they form a giant pizza. Okay, after you're done rolling, and you're just gonna generously put the sesame oil like this. Rub against the dough, okay? And then Generally, put the green onion, chop, fine chopped green onion, just like that. Okay, like this. 
put a lot of it. Okay, and what I like to do is sprinkle some black pepper. We already have the salt and the milk just to make it a little bit kind of like an Asian fusion, kind of like a pancake. And you're just gonna roll over one more time, just gently roll over. Here we go, just keep doing that. Don't have to be perfect, okay? Just like this, roll over, like this, okay? And then what are you gonna do is you're gonna cut like a little section, maybe, oh, maybe like three inches section like this because I like my pancake a little bit bigger than normal, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna smash it like this, every one of them, you see? You start forming a little pancake, like this, just like that, use your hand, use your palm, like this, okay? All right. Okay. Now, after you cut all the different section, now you're just gonna do one at a time. Put some sesame oil on your rolling pin and just gently go like this. Okay. Until you're gonna roll until we want to have like maybe five or six inches diameter. Okay. Just keep doing like this. You see. Now you can see through the scallion. See how beautiful? See? Yeah? It's very easy to make. And just like this. And if you want it thicker, you want it thinner, I think this is good enough. Like this. And then I'm gonna get my wok or frying pan ready. And uh, we're gonna do uh, pan fry or pan sears. You see? Just like this. Yummy! I can smell the sesame oil and the green onion. That's what we call scallion pancake. Beautiful. Oh, yeah? Okay, you can heat your pan, like medium-high, okay, medium-high. And you just put a little oil, not much, like this, a little oil. Maybe one teaspoon, swirl a little bit. This is a non-stick wok, so it's easy to cook pan fry pancake. Here we go, and then, i just gonna go get my scallion pancake, yeah? Put it like this, see, just like that. Very simple, and you're probably gonna pan fry each side for two to three minutes, depend, huh? And we will check with that, and before they're ready to turn over, and you just kind of simply take it out a little bit and take a peek. But right now I'm gonna disturb it. And uh, as I said, so many ways to make pancake, but it's good. It's a good snack uh, appetizer. It's very yummy, and a lot of scale. You want to make sure you got a lot of scale in. And black pepper or ground pepper is a really good touch. And also the sesame oil, put on the top of that dough, and then do like this, it's gonna be yummy. Let's go like this. I have a 16 inch, 16 inches frying pan. I can make like four at the same time. But I wanna show you one by one. And if the fire is too high, we turn it down a little bit. You take a look. Yep, that's good. Flip over. See? How nice? There's a scallion pancake. You can go like this. Fire a little bit too high. And you turn it down. I still have three more to uh, pan sear. I'm going to uh, finish up and I'm going to show you how to do it. See, just like that. Pan fry each side for about two to three minutes. This is what you want, like crispy outside. Inside is still uh, kind of tender. It's almost like a Chinese pizza. <laughs> I'm gonna okay, I just want to show you, I have one more to do. This is done, okay? And I'm gonna put it in my cutting board. And look, see here? Just leave it like this. You don't need to add any more oil. And just put it in. If it can control the temperature to medium to between medium and high. And then you can just put like this. And then make sure they're not stick. After like 10-15 seconds, make sure they're not stick. You just go like this. Okay, if they need more oil, drizzle a little more oil like this. It's no big deal. Just drizzle a little bit like this, okay? Go like this. And then let them uh, pan fry for a couple minutes. Just like that, you see? 